So it's now time to talk about the champion hurdle with these three. Yeah. <laughs> what more do you want at home? One mate? of my favourite races of the whole year. Really, I and this, this is race. a big feature of day one. Absolutely. Um, we've talked about it before with Jimmy Derham was on the panel and, and a couple of other guys. I've not had a chance to actually speak to you three guys about it. Some might have seen a YouTube clip from, from day one back in August when we were uh, looking at the new one and Tom looked about 10 years younger. But I'll come to you first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to you first. Uh, John, what's your view of the champion hurdle? Well, I think it's particularly open this year. Um, I mean, a lot of people are going to be saying Hurricane Fly. You know, I think 19 grade one wins now, and he seems to be at the top of his game still. Uh, but ultimately, I like the idea of uh, a younger horse winning, and uh, you know, I think the new one ha has a good chance, and uh, maybe even Arcona. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Let's go over to Sam because obviously he spotted something on the exchange earlier about one of the horses, and maybe you can uh, um, tweet us in your selections for the champion hurdle. Yeah, Annie Powell was a big drifter earlier this afternoon. A couple of different people tweeted that to me and highlighted it. Um, unlucky for a couple of you because Steve Lips has just uh, tweeted in to say he's on at 40s but thinks she's now going for the world hurdle by the looks of it. In that case, he's switching to the new one, as many of you have tweeted in. I just put a tweet out there to ask, what has the fly done wrong? I've had tweets about Arcona. I've had tweets about my tent or yours. I've had no tweets about Hurricane Fly. What has this horse got to do to capture your imagination? I'll pass you back over to the panel and someone please tweet me in suggesting the fly is going to win. Well, we know that someone does follow the fly. Uh, follow the fly. <laughs> follow the fly is Catherine Fry. I don't know if she's watching tonight, but she's obviously um, been bullish about how, how we can fly in previous years. But great to get her opinion on, on it this year. But uh, you're viewed, Sandy. Oh, it's, I think only six horses can win it. I'll start by saying that. I could take away all the other horses, and I think the six that could possibly win, this is not being brave at all. Sandy <laughs> shortlist. Yeah, yeah Sandy shortlist of six, which will take know. us all well, night. Yeah, give, top, us give us two. Give us two. No, no, I'm saying, no, don't give us all six. I'm, give us two. I'm not giving you all six. I'm explaining to you that there's okay. only six horses at the top of the market that can possibly win okay. this race. And it's deciding which value at this stage, what horse. I can't have Hurricane Fly. I know it's just crazy for me to say that with what he's done this year. I, the opinion when the new one and my turn yours running the Christmas hurdle, I, I've no doubt in my mind that the new one would have won that day if we wouldn't have made the mistake at the last and Sam lost the iron. I do believe that the new one is going to be the winner of the champion hurdle. Very cool. Bold. cool. I was Very gonna, bold. I thought it was going to go all, I thought it was going to go all, all night. It just starts to have yeah. six. <laughs> no. Tom, is, Tom, with Tom. me, right? Yeah. I like to explain things in full. Okay. And I take my time. Okay, so, so, number one, so name. Is there a problem with so that? So, Hammer Fly could win it then. Is he in the six? Of well, course he is. Yeah, okay. I'm right. trying to have a little fun. Uh, no, no. no. So you Tom, me Tom, you've been no, it's king the new on the new one. one right it from day is one. the new one. Right, right from day one, it's the new one. You know, I note six of his 13 starts, he's been evens or short. There's always been money, support around the stable for this one um, in fact when he last uh, last when he last ran at Kempton <laughs> right he smashed over a hurdle we all know that on the, on the last almost still got up to beat my tent or yours on that day now that piece of form is the piece of form that made me the most confident about backing a horse for Cheltenham and he didn't win but that piece of that, that watching that race made me the most confident I could be about backing any horse anti-post for Cheltenham this year there's no doubt in my but, mind but the argument would be that he's going to do it again no no the argument would be that um, Henderson, with my turn and yours, had a little bit left up his sleeve, even though he won. No, I disagree. disagree no, I, I think Henderson would love no, to. How, how can you have more in the tank? You've seen a horse, right? He's flattened over a hurdle, and he's still nibbling back there and doesn't quite get back there. If that was any other horse that smashed that hurdle down, it'd be a length back, two lengths back. His heart's in the game. He kept on staying. It was, it was quite a test in that Christmas hurdle. Um, you know, again, the, the new one. A couple of poses for you. Um, if you're a follower of Hammer Can Fly, obviously Jetski and Al Connor have, have, have been beaten twice. Do you think, I'm going to ask a yes or no, at Cheltenham, will Al Connor finish in front of Hammer Can Fly? Yes or no? Oh, I, w I want to talk about Al Connor. <laughs> so, so ask me yes or no questions. Um, uh, I'd like to think yes, but uh, you know, who knows? <laughs> Great. Sandy, this yes is, or no? This is, this is very in depth, isn't it? Yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to touch on Jeski. I think he's. So been, you're not answering my question? No, I'm not answering your question. Well, what, okay. well, someone answer my question. Right. People at home, yes, you can. People at home <laughs> want to know will Al Connor finish in front of Harry Conflict? No. <laughs> no. Mm, I don't really want to give my opinion on that. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm the same as you. I don't want to give my opinion. Okay, give me, talk about Al Connor. Okay, right, well, Al Connor, I was just so impressed 
when he won the Triumph last year. I mean, it was just literally absolutely annihilated horses that were supposed to be, you know, like really talented and uh, just made them all look like selling platers. And, um, uh, you know, yes, he's won a couple of what may be deemed to be substandard runs, but actually, I'm not sure they are. I think Desi Hughes is a master at getting horses ready, and I think he's going to have our Connor absolutely primed for this race. So I think it's will, absolutely so be going to be part of this bottom. But I must say, of the last 88 five year olds that have tried to win the champion hurdle, only one of them has won. He, he looks classy. This, like, this is a cracking race this year. I mean, last year, you look back on it, you could say it was a bit weak. This year, they all turn up. Um, I mean, Jeski, I, 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 we were discussing that maybe you should go to Aintree yeah, because was, what's McCoy going to win? Well, uh, regarding Jeski, obviously, when we did the show back in August, as we touched on, Jeski was the sort of horse, uh, it was, I think it's the same price as it was now, that I thought could go on this season. And it just hasn't. I'm, I'm not sure about the tactics. I was very keen last time out when it finished last of the four, behind Captain CV, obviously, R. Connor and Hurricane Fly. If I was Jessica Harrington, I would take Jeski to Aintree, have him fresh for that race, over slightly further, obviously. I think... You know, everyone always sees the big prize and wants to go for it. But if I if I were just counting, I really would take Jessica. See, I, I I mean, I know Annie Power now is is drifting on the exchange. I am surprised that Annie Power um, looks like it's not going to line up for Champion Hurdle because it'd be great to see uh, the mayor against um, Big Bucks. But the horse has not gone three miles. Shall I, t- shall I tell you something? Billy mentioned about a month ago when he was on the panel, he actually he said it sort of tongue-in-cheek. He mentioned about her running in the champion hurdle and the world hurdle. Well, that actually has been done before. Has it? Yes. A horse called My Silva, I think it was back in the 90s, done it. Uh, ran in the champion hurdle and was unplaced. And then actually finished second in the world hurdle. So it's not unheard of. The same, yeah, yeah, the same, 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 same. I tell you what, let's go over to Sam. Um, uh, who's winning on the on the Cheltenham Pole with the Champion Hurdle? Well, they've just come over the last, and out of nowhere, Hurricane Fly has fought back to try and regain the crown. I don't know quite how it's going to end up here, guys, but I would say it's going to be a very tight photo finish between Hurricane Fly, the new one, and our Connor. Back to Peter. OK, we might be able to get... Uh, keep tweeting away, um, you Twitters. <laughs> um, how we can fly, our kind of my tent or yours new one. We're going to get a final result over to Sam um, towards the end. Like, melodic Rendezvous. Now, so. that, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, let's talk about Melodic Rendezvous. Um, a couple of people actually tweeted that in earlier. Yeah. But that is ground dependent. Now, the way the ground's yeah. going... Um, who's to say, and it's, we are some weeks away, but if it did come up like a bog... Yeah. Chances? Well, no. you'd rather be on no. him now at 25 to 1 or when he shortens up to go off 12 to 1 when it's like a bog on the day. So it might be worth having a little saver now each way, yeah. I just, I don't mean to uh, offend connections by this, but I think he's just a smidge off top class. And I think that he would be found out in a champion hurdle. OK, now we're coming to the critical point. Viewers at home, people on YouTube want to know your selections. I'm going to ask you again, because this is probably the last chance we're going to talk about champion hurdle right up until the day. Tom? It's the new one. Sandy? Yeah, I've had to change and go to the new one. The R corner stats put me off. I think the new one. Cool. Three, three of the new ones. I, 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 I was very keen on Annie Power. Um, if, if the rumours are true and it's drifted on the exchanges, I'm going to go with my ten or yours. But I'm going <laughs> yeah, uh, to... Uh, you've got to be very just quick. Just very quickly touch on something. A drift in the champion hurdle doesn't always mean it's gonna, not going to run. Binocular drifted alarmingly when he won the champion hurdle before. Okay, good point.